Hello everyone, welcome to another very exciting tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how you can create this cool image overlay effect. So let me show you the effect first. Here is the effect. So basically you have this cool transition and overlay effect on the image. As you can see, there is a bit of an animation going on and then the, the image reveals the way it is. And it's pretty cool effect if you have like, you know, if you have watched our uh, sort of the parallax uh, and scroll animation effects, you can incorporate this effect pretty well on your scroll when the uh, section of the page with the image comes into into the view so without further ado i would like to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel please go ahead and do we're gonna have so many awesome tutorials and let's go ahead and make this happen so what i'm going to do is as always i'm going to kotus.com in the front end section using our online code editor what i'm going to do is first of all i'm going to create a div with the class img container uh, and this is going to be the sort of container for the image that i'm going to use within this i'm going to add an image tag and within the image tag i'm going to just paste the image that i got from the google images you can pretty much paste any image that you want here for your website so this is going to be the image so again we have a div as the image container and within that we're gonna have uh, the image itself and then after this what I'm going to do I'm going to create another div with the class overlay so this is going to be uh, the overlay that we saw the blue overlay that we saw in the demo so going to the CSS what I'm going to do I'm going to style these elements so let me go ahead and change the layout so that we can see the HTML and CSS side by side, I'm going to sort of hide the JS panel. So now here, I'm going to go ahead and style the image container or IMG container. I'm going to go ahead and make it uh, be position absolute so that I can freely position it in the page. I'm going to set the top to be 20% and then I'm going to give it a width. And this is very important. So the width will be 600 pixels. And then I'm going to give it a height of 400 pixels. And these values come uh, relatively from the size of the image that you have. As you can see here, uh, the width is uh, bigger than height. So that's the sort of relative width and height that I chose for my container. And then the next thing I want to do, I want to make sure that I give it a border radius. Let's give it a border radius of 2 pixels. Let's make sure that the left is 50%. And then what I'm going to do, uh, since I know the uh, width uh, that I have over here, I can go ahead and set the margin left to be minus 300 pixel, right? So this pretty much centers the image in the viewport. But you could see that when I played the demo, there was a little bit of an animation for the image itself. So I'm going to add 100 pixel more to it. So I'm going to make it minus 400 pixel but ultimately with the animation it transitions to the center of the page uh, the next thing i would like to do since i gave it a border radius and the image itself is within the div by the way let me go ahead and increase the size a little bit here so that it's even more visible uh, yes so here what i'm going to do i'm going to set the overflow to be hidden and this is very important so now you can see that we have the overflow hidden as well here. And uh, the next thing I would like to do is uh, start styling our image within the IMG container. So here I'm going to say IMG container, IMG will give it a, so this is the trick. So I'm going to set the position to be absolute, just like that. And then I want to center this within its parent container and the way i'm going to do it i'm going to use the left 50 percent top 50 percent and use transform translate minus 50 percent and minus 50 percent right you wouldn't see any different but the important thing is that uh, we want to basically animate this so now if i go ahead and set the scale to 1.3 you'll see that the, the image gets bigger. 
Uh, so if I say, for example, two, you will see that it even gets more uh, big. So let's say 1.3. So that's a little bit bigger now. And then what I would like to do is make sure that the uh, initially the opacity is zero, right? So now it goes away. Um, so that's pretty much the stuff. Let me just add the opacity later. So let's have this. Uh, it's important to know that what happened here is that the image within the uh, div, its parent container, is now scaled up with 1.3, uh, which is pretty much like uh, the scale of the, the the sort of the limit is from 0 to 1. Now I increased it by 1.3. So now I'm going to go ahead and style the overlay that we added over here. So here I'm just going to say IMG container overlay. And then I'm going to give it the width of 100%, height of 100%. We'll give it a background of, uh, let's give the same background. So it was 6E8EEA. And then the next thing I want to do, I want to make sure that the position is absolute. Now you can see that it covered the whole image. And then what I would like to do is initially, I want to make sure that the transform is on the x-axis, on the scale, it's actually zero, right? So now the, the scale is zero. The most important thing in the demo that you saw when it shows the overlay, it actually is a scale of this overlay from here until the end of it when I set this scale to be one, right? So I need to make sure that I set the uh, transform origin of my any of my transform to start from right here. So this means that 50%, uh, 0% on the x-axis and 50% on the y-axis, right? Uh, so that's about it. So now I'm going to just create a uh, animation to show you how this would work. So let's go ahead here. I'm just going to create a animation by keyframes and then I call it anim. Uh, and then here I would say, initially, let's put 0%. On the 0%, I would like the transform to be the same. So scale X, 0. And then I want to make sure that the transform origin is also the same as the one that we have uh, initiated this overlay with. Then on 50%, I would like it to, the transform to become 1. And then I would like the transform origin to follow the same, right? Just like that. Now on 51%, the only thing I'm going to change is to change the transform origin to be right here instead of here. So the transform is going to be the same. So scale X1. But the transform origin will now become 100%. And 50%. So 100% on the x axis, so which becomes over here. So this is where the scale will happen. And then ultimately at 100%, what I would like to do is change the transform to be scale x, so scale on x axis to be 0, and then the same transform origin that we have over here. So as you can see, the only thing is that from the zero, it's going to be transform origin here, scale zero. And then on the 50%, it's going to come with the, the transform x, will, the scale x will be one and uh, with the same transform origin. So you will see the scale from this side. And then on 1% after 50%, I just switch the transform origin to become here. And then based on that transform origin, I set the scale to be zero. Now let's see how it looks like. So if I come here and say, just add the animation that we made. So animation, let's say anim and two seconds. Now you will see the effect. Let me save this, show you again. You'll see that you get this cool overlay effect. And that's pretty much just using the keyframes and create an animation. So this part was the actual thing. We basically switched the transform origin from here to here, right? So you get this cool effect. The next thing I want to do is make sure that when the animation happens like that, I want to animate 
the image itself as well. So we had a scale 1.0. I also want to scale down the image that we initially increased the scale to be one. So we get this kind of cool uh, zoom effect as well. And to be able to do that, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and create a sort of a cool animation. So again, here, I'm going to create a keyframe. Let's say keyframes, and then I call it pick. In the 0%, I want the opacity of the image to be 0, right? The same I want to be on the 50%. So I just set the opacity to be 0. Now, on the 51%, I'm just going to make the opacity to be 1. And then ultimately, on 100%, I want to preserve the opacity to be 1. But I also want to make sure that I scale down the image from 1.3 to 1. So let's say minus 50%. Because why I'm adding this transform translate? Because initially, our image has this. So I need to basically copy this and paste it over here. And then change the scale to be 1, right? So now if I go ahead and add this uh, keyframes animation to the image, so I'm just going to say animation, peak, and I want to have the same duration that we set on the overlay, which is two seconds, right? Two seconds. So now if I start it, you will see that we get this cool effect, right? As you can see. So the reason why it jumps back to the original 1.3 is because when I add the animation, I need to set the animation fill mode to be forwards, right? So now if I show you, we can see that we get this cool animation. If you want to see the zoom a little bit more, you can add the initial scale to something bigger, right? So if I refresh, you will see that you see a little bit more of that zoom effect, which is pretty cool. <coughs> Excuse me. And then lastly, I want to have that initial animation that we had on the actual overlay. So again, down here, I'm going to define another keyframe. And this time, I'm going to call it translate. So if you remember, initially when we created the image container, what we set was margin left to be minus 400 pixel. So now if I just translate this on the x-axis by the amount of 100 pixel, it's going to be centered in the page. So let's create the animation for that as well. So here I'm just going to create a animation keyframes. I'm just going to call it translate. And really what I want to do, I want to ultimately set the transform to be translate 100 pixel, right? Uh, it's important uh, to know that the only thing I wanted to do is that initially I wanted to have the same, you know, styles and then ultimately I want to translate it. That's why I used two only. I could initially say, uh, you know, 100% as well here. So now the only thing I need to do is going back to the IMG container section and add our animation there as well. So animation, we called it translate two seconds. And then I also want to make sure that the animation fill mode is set to forwards, right? Just like that. So now if I refresh the page, you will see that we have this cool sort of animation that you saw over here. Uh, so one, one thing that I noticed, and that's very important for you uh, to sort of make sure it works correctly, is that here, exactly. So here, you will see that we have this cool animation that we have. Yes, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Just to switch the view and talk a little bit about what happened here. Uh, if I show you the effect again, you'll see that what happened was that we set the um, IMG container to have position absolute, we positioned it where we want. And then the image within that, we also use the absolute positioning because we wanted to work with the transform uh, sort of properties here and play with them 
using the animation that we defined down here. And basically following the same sort of keyframing, which is 0, 50%, 51%, 100%, for both of these animations, we kind of synced the animation both for the overlay and also for the zoom effect that we had over here. One of the things that I noticed is that if you notice here, when I refresh, you'll see that the image scales from a different perspective. So the only thing I need to do is come here and make sure that I set the transform origin to be 50% and 50%, which is right in the middle. So now you will see that we get this very cool animation. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I'm going to put the link to this prototype down in the descriptions. If you had any questions or concerns, please go ahead and do. One more thing I want to talk about is that we added these snippets for Kothus, uh, as you can see over here. So we built this website and each day we're going to add a new snippet. For example, one of the tutorials we worked on the carousel slider. So basically here you can see a little bit of a description of what is happening and also the HTML, CSS and JavaScript that is used. And ultimately there is like a demo of what exactly you will gain by using this snippet, right? And then you can copy and paste. Here is, there is like this box over here where you can actually copy these and paste it into your projects. And then later on you will see that when we added a bunch of these, for example, I'm going to add the tutorial for today as well within here and then ultimately we're going to use these uh, sort of snippets later on in the uh, other tutorials to create more awesome stuff so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial please if you liked it uh, smash that like button and also share and i wish you a great day and night see you next time goodbye